So Claptrap is supposed to be still here because we've seen that uh, Defend Claptrap indicator for a while now. I'm just gonna set up my sniper rifle because I feel like we're gonna get we're gonna get ambushed here anyway, but these guys are really low level for some reason. Probably because I did all those uh, side quests before. That hurts, buddy. I'm on fire. Let's get the sniper rifle and take out the Marauder. There we go. And the psychos are just... I mean, they're the, the hallmark of the Borderlands series. They're all the cover of every game. So Borderlands 1, 2 and the pre-sequel has a psycho on the cover. So they really like their own designs there. There we go. Killed off that guy with the sword. And I mean to escort Claptrop. Claptrop? Claptrop! Hello, Claptrop! To his ship. So it's not the ship over there, because the ship is rather big. You might think. I, I should probably clarify. The diamond horse I've been telling you about, it's not a sculpture or anything. It's a living horse that actually happens to be made of. Yeah, I'll go back. Here you go. Stallion. Say hello. So there we go, the plot thickens about a butt stallion. She's actually a real horse, made of diamonds. And there we have our first indication of the suicide psycho. So those guys just run around with a grenade in their hands. This way! This way? It is Boom Boom. So there we go, another boss fight. Light the fuses, bitches! Boom! And his brother Boom. It's just written a little bit differently. So there's one guy in a giant explosive turret. And then there's a little guy shooting grenades at everybody. I'm just gonna see if I can't, oh, yeah. I think I got him, yeah. There we go, that's Boom. Now he's also awake. Where the hell did he go? There he is. Just gonna focus on the little guy. Damn it. I'm just gonna let the psycho live just in case I die. Oh, there's another one going. Where the hell is Boom? There's two over here and Boom is supposed to be flying over me probably. There he is. There we go, that's one headshot. And there's the other headshot. And there you go, those guys. And there we go, double melee kill. So, grenade mods are pretty cool. I'm just gonna check out what I have right... Oh wait, I can see that on the right. 1100. That's a big boom, isn't it? I like that first grenade mod you get when you have the... Uh, it came with the original special edition and it also comes with the handsome collection so you get that fireworks grenade mod. Sadly at a certain point it gets outdone by everything else because of course about uh, because of the levels. Not a big deal but uh, still sad. You can get it eventually later on but it's, it's uh, a pretty high rarity uh, grenade mod. Ooh, I missed that. So the first boom we killed actually dropped a legendary grenade mod. Spawns 10 child grenades upon detonating. Double the awesome bonus extreme. So a Thor grenade mod. That is definitely switching that out. Ooh, that was lucky. Because I have had playthroughs where I didn't find a single legendary during the entire playthrough. And that just dropped us into the first, well, hour and a half. So let's just uh, go to Claptrap. Yeah, yeah, whenever I'm ready. And this... So again, this is one of those moments where he's gonna keep going. If you go through his entire dialogue, he actually eventually says, Oh fuck, just shoot me. But, uh... 
Yeah. I know it's kind of complicated, but just stick with me, okay? Look, when it's okay for you to shoot this gate with the cannon, I'll say something like, shoot the gate with the cannon now! Whoa! There we go. That was timed perfectly, wasn't it? I feel like that was timed perfectly. I'm just going to have to shoot this thing now because the bands are going to try and kill me. But there we go. We can kill them in one hit. It has a really high reload time, so don't mind if I, uh, I'm i really, really slow with the shooting here. There we go. And we're almost to level 7 with that guy. Just not. Let's get out. There we go. Let's grab whatever we can grab. Clap trap, are you okay? You actually get less experience for enemies you kill uh, from a vehicle. I'm actually wondering about that grenade now. Oh wow. Yup. That just keeps going, doesn't it? Gonna have to be careful because I might actually kill myself with that. That was cool. That was cool. We get another skill point and that's gonna go into that same skill tree over here. So up to 200% on low health enemies. Ooh, our first fire gun. I'm actually going to equip that because fire actually is effective in those first couple of uh, areas. So that's basically that. Moving further, I think Claptrap was blown all the way over here. In the direction of the Soaring Dragon. God, sorry, I kind of missed it. Look at that. Yep, okay, so Claptrap has been captured by the bandits and he's brought all the way up to the, well, to the camp. So this kind of wraps around the iceberg and into that giant tanker that they created some kind of makeshift dragger on top of, which is, I mean, look at this level. So we heard this already because, uh, well, the checkpoint system in Borderlands 2 uh, kind of sucks. So I saved there, but I was back at Hammerlock's place when I reloaded the save. So, we can immediately start talking about our new weapon manufacturer. So, Molly One, the gun that I'm actually using right now, always has a uh, elemental effect. So this uh, gun is a fire gun. And I think, is it this one? No. Thought I could even set the fish on fire for some badass ranks, but I'm wrong about that one. So Claptrap mentions a flash freeze. So this entire area was just uh, frozen solid in an instant because of uh, Handsome Jack's drilling, which is why Captain Flynn's ship is up there on top of an iceberg. So yeah, flash freeze. So uh, because we blew Claptrap up last time, he kind of got blown through the gate and into the hands of Flint and his bandits. And there we go, we got a bit of a welcoming party. The, these Molly One guns actually do spend two bullets per shot. So I need to be careful because I can only fire three times before this thing actually runs out of magazine bullets. I think I can even snipe this guy in the... Oh no. Yeah, he went. There he goes. He kind of went for cover there, that was annoying. So, sniper rifle and the Molly One pistol should be enough for now. I'm just gonna loot around a bit, because I know this camp actually does house a few uh, weapons chests, which might be interesting at this point, because we're still looking for uh, something good to use. Although we got really lucky with the grenade mod last time. So we already have a legendary, which is amazing, because usually I've had playthroughs, I think I said that last time, look at that zero. Batman Zero. So uh, I had playthroughs where I haven't even found a single uh, legendary, which is horrifying. Uh, let's just burn these guys to the ground. And unlike some other games in uh, Borderlands, you can actually use your ability quite a bit. So try to do that every time we go into danger with our shields. Which is not going to help us in a second. There we go. There goes the shield again. I 
Okay, it's not really accurate this gun. There's Flint again. So that's an old recording. So Flynn was just talking about that he used uh, one of the other bandits as his uh, backup torture doll. And that the screams are really the same as when Claptrap screams, which is weird, but okay. There we go. Every five minutes he's gonna be screaming. So, uh, uh, just swap that or, uh, you know, our Mali 1 pistol for something else because I feel like the three shots are just not enough. Ooh. And this Jacob's uh, assault rifle doesn't fire automatically. So, I need to pull the trigger for every shot, and it only has 11 shots in the gun. There we go. Is he gonna stand still? He is. There we go. So I think we're fine for now. The bandits seem to be okay for our level. But sometimes if you're going too quickly, that's why I'm usually doing the side quest, is that you're gonna be uh, underpowered for what lies ahead. Just wanna see where we end up. If I can start this off with a sniper rifle shot, that would be nice. There we go. And then that one's gonna open because it has, I think it has, if I recall correctly, a bigger dude. Yeah, there he is. A badass marauder. So with those guys, I think it's just best to use my hologram and then get a headshot in on this guy. Right now. There we go. So that doubles up the damage, which is really good for sniper shots. And that gives us that. So let's sell a few things. There we go. Sold a bunch of my stuff, which you need to do regularly to just to uh, keep your money up. And to clear your inventory space. Ooh, that's... Uh, hmm. Do we want to swap out for a shotgun? want to try that, actually. I don't really often use shotguns, but... And I think... Is this a Jacobs? Okay, that's wrong, but... It's a Jacobs. So again, just Jacobs. Because there's plenty more uh, manufacturers that we will be talking about. But for now, we're just going to do this. Can't seem to be jumping up here, so there we go. Little person, big problems. Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. The true world revealed. Weakness is now known to me. Time. Seem like these guys are actually lower level for some reason. This guy, this, this shotgun has a huge scope, by the way. I don't know why, but. There we go. Jump up here. And I think the shotgun with its only two shots is not gonna be enough for me. Took kind of a shortcut getting up here. You can use the open chest to do just that, because this is actually skipping through the level. Which we shouldn't be doing, because of course you can hear them in the background. They're all kicking on uh, Claptrap over there. There we go. And there we go. If I don't miss, it's fine. There we go. There we go. I love this cluster bomb. Jesus Christ, it's a bit overpowered at this point. Second foot, my new minions up. That's where the badass thing comes from. It's something that Claptrap continuously says. So now we need to follow him. Now that we've saved his ass. I think there were a few enemies on the right. Yeah, there's another Marauder. Got him in the head once, but it's a badass. So there we go. Needs two shots. That was not a headshot. That was one. And then... There we go. Even he needed two shots. To the face. 
So you can do the same thing with the shotgun, of course. There we go. Right at the end there. Bablamo. I think I even missed the place where that extra chest was. But meh, never mind. I think it might actually be over here. Yeah, there it is on the chain underneath the boat. There's the other hidden weapons chest. Maybe we can find something new in here. If I can get an explosive shotgun, that would be cool. That's an explosive rifle. With 13 shots. It's actually not bad. I think this one is actually better than the one we had. Doesn't have a scope either. This one has. I'm just going to try this thing out. So Gunrunner Badass rank. And it's not easy lo looting green. I'm just going to blow this up. There it goes. So those are explosive containers that actually has loot in them. So everything with a green light. Uh, stairs? I can't climb stairs. Let's find another way up. Ooh, a crane. Find the controls. So this is the crane. I'm going to have to go up because oh, yeah. uh, Claptrap can't go upstairs for some reason. Which is really weird, but fine. Uh, I'm just going to swap out the sniper rifle for the shotgun. So we can uh, do stuff like... Didn't you see me? Oh, didn't do it within the reload time. My skills. You bleed out. There we go. Oh wow. Okay, we just got an explosion from the side there. Tick tick. So just need to work our way up towards the crane controls. I'm not gonna waste too much time here. I can actually hold the trigger now because I kind of forgot I'm not using a Jacobs anymore. So torque. Again, torque is all about explosive damage. They all kind of look the same. And there's another weapon chest here. Don't mind if I do. Crap. And there they go. And then that drops. And there's more enemies over there. Gonna cry, baby. Yes, I am. I'm definitely gonna cry. You're gonna we never met. Boom. And then a grenade to finish that up. Ow, ow, ow. And there we go. Shields are down, but that's fine. So toilets kind of function. I don't know why I'm saying this, but toilets kind of function as a weapons chest as well. I don't know why. But then there's always a little smiley face on the on the lid there, which is also a nice touch. These guys are having fun with just the smallest Any things. Time, old pal. Standing on immobile platforms is one of my huh. top three favorite pastimes. <sighs> right behind dancing and so if you go to the side here, I know there's a way to move further to another platform. So if I do this right, I wish I had legs. And then Claptrap is going to continuously complain about his legs. Because over there is another weapons chest. Uh, and I think... Is that just a jump? It's been a while. Yeah, there we go. That's a jump. And then I think there's also, yeah, there's another Volt symbol on the floor here. Guild of the Volt, we get five points for that. And then... A Blitz Rifle. So a doll, that's more of an, uh, a standard assault rifle. Ah, we just missed that, but no biggie. We didn't need to get there anyway. So let's get back up and get Claptrap up the elevator. There we go. And it's a really fast elevator for some reason. If you would put cargo on top of that, it would be flying off when it reaches the top. Uh, just to prepare a bit, I'm gonna swap the shotgun out for the sniper rifle again. Because of the next fight. Because the next fight is gonna be our first, well, in my eyes, proper boss fight. I found another molly one, so that's gonna be... It's a better one, so it has one more... Uh, shot in the magazine, which means that even though I usually spend two ammo, that last shot is only going to spend one. So let's just sell a few things. There we go. And now we need to head in with half health. That's not good. 
That's not good, but there's no health station over here, so might as well go for it. Here we go. Come on out, Flip! Your claptrap unit has returned! And there we go. Captain Flynn himself, we're on top of the ship right now. It's our new torture dolls, boys. Let's turn up the heat! So strategy here is he's going to stay back in the top of his ship. So near his throne over there. He's going to oh, jump down, but he's going to stay I'm so there. Sorry, I'm going to try Please, and take out the Marauders first. If I can actually fire something. Oh. So these guys are going to have to go down. So guys with shields actually are immune to. I'm going to have to keep an eye on my shield over there. Ah, and that was a miss. I'm going to try and hit him. So he's sh shooting at us, but his gun is highly inaccurate, which causes us to uh, be able to dodge his shot quite a bit. Although my own guns are... And uh, that also happens. So these things are just going to... Start going on fire, and he's getting closer, of course. He's also immune to fire damage, obviously. <laughs> Including these guys, probably. I so let's do this. Oh, I'm inside the fire. I'm on fire. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on. I hear a psycho. Ah, I thought I just had the psycho in the back there, but no. We died. That was my mistake. Was in the fire. Well, it's always going to be my mistake, but... Uh... So the annoying thing about dying in this case is that the boss resets his health. And the enemies don't actually despawn. So, where the hell... Oh, yeah, okay. Up the... Up the ramp. Up the ramp. And the fire is still going. I don't think I can even kill him from here. There we go. That was a bad shot. There we go. And of course he resists that. He's doing charges and everything as well. Okay, that's not where I wanted to go. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. You know what? Kill me. Thank you. And then I can use the gun to kill his ass. Use that immediately and then from close range. Ah, oh, crap. He just ducked at the wrong time there. He's gonna run around the bed. He's gonna get killed again on purpose. There we go. And he's blowing me up again. Going down again. But it's kind of a strategy in Borderlands to do that because. It gets you your health back as well. For fuck's sake. I think I moved forward a bit too quickly there. Yeah, there we go. Gonna shoot his ass. Ah, there's more psychos. That's where that came from. Get me out of here. Oh, yeah, and I was kicked. Oh, no, I was kicked down with burn damage. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, golden. Okay, that gives us a, a bit of a breathing. Problem is I'm constantly at low health. Which is not ideal. Still have ammo, which is good, because that often is a problem as well. He doesn't seem to take headshots, which is weird. No, you're not. You're actually very good. Oh, for f oh, that that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Well, it was the mistake. The grenade mod is bullshit. That grenade mod is bullshit. 
he just went down in one go. But the murderer's tinderbox, so a bandit weapon. So they always look kind of haggard, the bandit weapons. But this thing is actually really great. You always get it from Flynn. And it uh, has a lot of burn damage, as you might have think. Let's do this. Get to the side. It's also kind of a machine, mini, mini machine gun. That shoots fireballs. There we go. It's great. It is great. So bandits uh, kind of have raw damage and uh, high fire rates, but really, really crappy accuracy. So that's uh, what bandit is all about. Just gonna get the skill points uh, further into our melee tree here. So uh, melee damage against enemies with low health. It's not really defined what low health means in this case, but yeah, that's that I suppose. Now we just gotta get to my ship. So on the one, ha one hand, I would say that this ship is too big for Claptrap, and you would be right. And it would be also too big to actually get down, which is uh, something. So his boat is actually in the back here. We're gonna see it in a second, but before we do that, there's one uh, a very nice reward for killing Flynn, and this is this weapon chest. So these are the, the better weapon chests. So as you can see, the... The weapons are actually a lot more powerful than the ones we saw before. And I'm actually going to swap out the Sniper Rifle for the Plump Tornado. Which is something that really eats up ammo. But it's a really, really good gun. Because uh, it's, it's the type of gun you see all the time. I'm actually going to see if my shields can get any better. For, not for now. But it eats up a lot of ammo. So four ammo per shot. But it basically shoots rockets. And there we go, look at that, a little boat, a little claptrap boat if you want. And we can use the, I think we need to, yeah, finish up the mission with him first. And get now, that experience. Let us set sail. And now we can use the pass through over here to get to Treehorn's Divide. Next time on Borderlands 2, we catch a ride! Ah,